Today we're going to be talking about one of the ways that I, when I was getting started, became a better developer, specifically with HTML and CSS. I think it's one of the things that sometimes we kind of take for granted and we're, we're so focused on the JavaScript aspect, and you're going to get better at JavaScript based off this te technique as well. But with the HTML and CSS, I feel like sometimes it gets a little bit overlooked, and then you find yourself with zero design skills, zero <laughs> templating skills. And today we're going to be talking about how I kind of took my, my uh, front end skills to the next level. So one of the ways that I decided that I was going to get better, and I found it really helpful um, when working with HTML, CSS, even JavaScript, depending on the template, but I would actually go and get a template. Um, in this case, our sponsor today is templatemonster.com. They were lucky enough to give me the Avor template that I chose. I really liked it, and I thought it was a great example. And the reason that I say, okay, well, why, why would we rebuild templates? Well, one, you get to see a production level application and you get to be exposed to a lot of new things. Maybe in this case, we're going to dive into the source code of this a little bit just to give some examples. But if you actually go to my website, codingtutorial360.com, that's actually the, um, what I did there was I took this raw HTML, CSS, and uh, template and then I added AngularJS to it and a couple um, AngularJS plugins. Uh, such as like a uh, image slider, and I hooked it up with the YouTube API. But basically, I took this this stuff and I swapped in my own assets and everything. And I was able to learn a lot by seeing somebody who's much better at HTML and CSS than I was, and and try to understand what does this do, what does that do. And I start breaking out piece by piece. And at the end of it, I had a wonderful portfolio item. Now, TemplateMonster.com has a ton of different portfolios that uh, you could look at or anything else, uh, anything from WordPress themes to Joomla templates. In our case, what I'm really talking about are the HTML5 website templates, and they, they can cover a bunch of things. So if you're looking to get a portfolio site up today, it's a great resource for you to look or anything else. Maybe you have a business and you don't necessarily have the time to, to code out your own website. Um, you know, you're just like, okay, well, or you're, you're running some other aspect of it. This is a, a great resource for you to check out. And can I just say, when I was uh, setting up an account, I had a question here with the customer service and they answered me back almost immediately. And it was a, it was a great experience in that aspect. But let's go ahead and look through here. So this is a very clean, very nice site. It has a nice... Um, nice side scroll aspect going on here uh, lovely loading icon all things that you'd want to maybe integrate into your application you can see here a very cool portfolio uh, set up here a lot of cool things uh, animations that you can learn just by going through it uh, newsletter all that sort of stuff a very nice uh, template very nice website all things considered for a low price of sixty dollars you get this whole thing and you can swap it out and I'm sure maybe I can talk them into giving maybe a promo code. We'll see. Uh, check out the description for that. We'll see what we can work with. Um, but you get a you get an idea. So let's actually dive into the code because that that's really what I care about, right? That it's a beautiful website, but what can we learn from it, right? How can we use it? We obviously uh, we can look at it and tell there's there's benefits, right? We can get a we can go ahead swap in our own Instagram photos, swap in our own headings, and we could be up and running today with a beautiful, uh, fully responsive website that we can see on our phone how great it's going to look. That's really a nice aspect of it too. You can kind of see, okay, well, what is it going to look like? This is, I like that it's in a phone. I like this. Uh, it's a uh, very nice. Oh, look at that. Is there hovering in uh, CSS? Am I, am I going crazy? I, th I don't think hovering works in mobile. Uh, I wonder. I wonder if it's just a suit. I wonder if it converts the hand. That's a very interesting question. That's a, that's another aspect, but you can see it's very clean, uh, mobile. So let's actually open up. I have the template right here opened up and you'll see a lot of stuff going on here. See a little bit of PHP. So you might be exposed to a few things, some things beyond your skill set, but that's okay. It's actually one of the cooler things <coughs> about diving into a template and trying to maybe, maybe uh, add your own content for one, you're going to learn a lot, or even trying to duplicate it. That was something that I did early on where I would take this template and I would say, okay, here's the here's the home page or here's the um, contact page i want to make it look identical and i would play around with the css i play around with the html the javascript it was a really good way for me to learn and i was exposed to so much <coughs> and so let's go ahead and and open up as <coughs> assets so 
Shark Sting is CSS. So you can see here that they're using uh, Bootstrap 3.35, and it looks like, for the most part, it's just added in here. You'll see, like the first thing you're gonna see is like, what is this? What is, what is, what is ABBR underscore title? You're like, okay, what does that mean when there's a title in the brackets here? Or what are these pseudo classes right here with active and hover? And what does it mean? So you're already we're getting exposed to some things that if you're probably a little bit fresh to to CSS, um, you know, you're you're this is. This is some nice CSS is what I'm trying to say. And you're going to be exposed to things that maybe you're not going to see as often. Or you're not going to see in a, a CSS tutorial uh, here or there. And then they have, of course, the theme. And it's all very, it's broken out very well. That's what all this is. basically inline documentation here. Or in, in the project documentation to kind of break things out. I've worked with uh, templates before in a professional setting as well. And it's, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that you may actually just buy a template and then add your own to, to handle a very beautiful front end and then um, handle the, the more logic uh, aspects that's specific. You can see your fonts here. Oh, oh apparently it won't display because it it's binary. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, images, you can kind of see some images. Oh, placeholder images. So placeholder images are something that I have in, uh, I've used in the past in applications just so that we can, oh, look, let's go here. Um, but you can see a lot of cool stuff. You can see Jade. If you've never been experienced to Jade, you may not even know what Jade is. Uh, formerly known as Pug, or maybe known as Pug now. I always get it backwards. But uh, it is a essentially an HTML templating language. So that like what's happening here is that this is basically a div that has a column, and then we're indenting. Then this is nested in here. Uh, with another div that's a blog post. And this is an anchor tag with an href. And it, it all renders out as HTML pages, essentially. But it, they're, they're J, it's a Jade templating language. Um, you can see, you can go in here, check out a footer, look up a little bit of animations, and you, you know jump down to the JavaScript, see what's going on here. And you can see very quickly how much you'll learn just diving through and trying to recreate this. And it's okay, you know... Uh, you may not know everything, right? I, I, I'm gonna not know a lot of stuff that's just in this template. I'm a, you know, salaried uh, working developer, so don't be intimidated by it. But it's one of the cooler aspects of how you can go and learn a lot by just having a template. You can also, of course, use the template and uh, teach yourself a ton of interesting things in the process. So I just wanted to share that with you. It is something that um, I have done in the past, and I think it's a great a resource for you to kind of be able to have source code, have a, a great portfolio or a great website, whatever it is you're trying to do, and then also learn and be exposed to a lot of things that maybe you you didn't have the you didn't know even existed or that you want to declare. How does how is it actually used in a real world application? Uh, I think you could get that out of checking out some some templates and and reworking them on your own, as well as just using them in your own personal projects or businesses. So uh, I want to thank TemplateMonster.com again for sponsoring this video. It's really cool that they do that. As a smaller YouTube channel, it's appreciated when we have these these larger companies that like what we're doing here and they've been very supportive and they were nice enough to reach out to me and I appreciate it. So I want to thank them. And if you guys are interested in getting a, a nice portfolio site as well as getting some awesome resources to learn and use, use uh, definitely check them out at templatemonster.com. As always, guys, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, support me on Patreon, all that good stuff. I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, I just want to thank you for watching the video. If you're interested in checking out any of my courses or you want to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine, the links for, for that will be in the description. If you could drop a like and go ahead and share the video, that really helps out the channel more than anything else. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.